Well, welcome back to Family Chat Friday. I hope you're watching with a parent right now. Last week, we were talking about what heaven will be like. And can you remember? God showed us a picture and it was about things like lions or tigers and deers. I want you to try and remember now. What was he saying? Talk with the people in the room. Last week, God said, in heaven, dot, dot, dot. Well, could you remember? Last week, God said that in heaven, there will be no danger. And he said there'll be nothing at all to scare us. He said it will be so safe that even lions and deers, or tigers and deers, will play with each other and the lion won't eat the deer. Um, it will be amazing, so safe. Well, we are going to keep thinking about what heaven is going to be like today as well. And here is the first bit of our Bible reading. This is what God says. It's from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17, and it says, Look, I will make new heavens and a new earth, and people will not remember the past. They will not think about those things. Well, hi there. It's me, Tom. Now, to try and help us think about what God is saying, I want us to play a little game, and it's all about remembering. I'm going to show you a tray of things. You need to look really hard and try and remember what is there. Then I'm going to take some away and we'll see if you can remember. Here we go. Here's my tray of stuff. There's all sorts of random stuff. I've got, um, I've got a banana here, sort of a tiny paintbrush. There's a little candle. We've got a mouse. There's a paperclip. Do you see that? That's quite small. There's, there's a lolly just there. Um, a squashy ball, some hand cream. A tiny man, let's put him there next to our tiger, not a lion. A funny plug socket, closer, little booklet, a ring, Jesus drawing bit Bible, a banana, a big balloon, uh, and a pen. I think that's it. Oh, and sellotape. Have a good look. Try and remember as much as you can. Remember, 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 remember. Okay. And I'm going to cover it up and take one away. There it is, it's covered up. I'm gonna take away my blanket. Can you remember what was there? Here we go. Ooh, someone's fallen over. Let's stand him up. Can you remember what is missing? I've taken away one or two things. Any ideas? Tell the person in the room that you're with. Can you remember anything that is missing? Well, here they are. The things that are missing that time were my mouse and my little man. We're going to play again. OK, have another look. Try and remember everything that's there. I'm going to put the blanket on. And you have to remember what has gone. Oh, that's falling over. Oh, look, there was a key under there all along. What is missing? I've taken three things this time. One of them's small, one of them's big, and another of them is small. What do you reckon? Let me show you what was missing. And there they are. That's what I'd taken away. Did you remember? I'd had a candle, a chewy ring thing, and my Jesus Storybook Bible. And if you want to know more about that, have a look on our resources tab on our website for some children's Bible reviews. Here we go, number three, the last one. Have a last look and what is missing? Can you remember? Have a little look. Can you remember what's gone? And I'm gonna show you the answers. This is what has been taken. It was my tiger and he's taken the hand cream, probably because he's got Dry paws from all his washing his hands at the moment. Well, how did you do? Sometimes I find that game quite hard, to be honest. It's hard to remember things. 
And for instance, can you remember what you had for breakfast this morning? Uh, can you remember what you got for Christmas a few months ago? Um, well, God is saying in heaven, we won't even remember the old stuff. But actually, what is it that we won't remember? Um, we need to read our next bit of the Bible to find out. This is the next few verses from Isaiah chapter 65. And this is what God is saying. My people will be happy forever because of the things I will make. I will make Jerusalem, that's, that's just another word for heaven. I will make a Jerusalem that is full of joy and I will make her people a delight. There will never again be crying or sadness in that city. And that is the thing that we won't remember. We won't remember any more sadness or crying. We won't even remember it. Um, I've got a question for you. Talk to the person in your room and talk about this question. If you could get rid of one thing in the world forever, what would you choose? Well, maybe you would choose smooth peanut butter. Ugh, crunchy is way better. Or maybe you'd get rid of broccoli forever. Ugh. Or maybe you'd get rid of washing up. Or maybe you thought about it for a moment and you would choose to get rid of coronavirus. Well, I'm not sure what you said, but in heaven, God is going to do one better than coronavirus. He's getting rid of sadness altogether. That means there'll be no more tears, no more crying, no more being upset. We won't even remember what it's like to be sad. Um, and actually, it is, it is okay that we're sad now sometimes. Do you remember even Jesus was sad when his friend Lazarus died? But he wants us to remember that in heaven, there'll be no more crying and no more sadness at all. And that is amazing news. Think about it. If there's, if there's no more sadness in heaven, that means there's no more sadness for if we get hurt. Um, there'll be no more sadness if people are ill. There'll be no more sadness when we can't see someone that we love and we haven't seen them for ages. And there'll be no more sadness like when people are mean to us today and we won't even remember what it's like to be sad now Claire one of our cosmic leaders is gonna show us something that we can make at home to try and remember this and, and while you're making it talk about this question how will life be different from now when we're in heaven if there's no more sadness Today we're going to make a craft to remind us that there will be no tears in heaven, no crying, no sadness. Something that always cheers me up are flowers. They're so beautiful, all so unique, and we're going to make our own unique flowers together today. Okay, so the first thing you need are some felt pens, a toilet roll, you won't need very much, so don't worry, some sellotape, and then from around your house, I'd like you to collect any bits of paper that you've got. So any bits of old tissue paper, they don't have to be an exact size, just small squares or rectangles. So any color you've got, you can even use sweet wrappers like these, even some foil. Then you will have your tissue paper squares from your toilet paper as well. And I'd like you to color these on both sides. It doesn't have to be exact because they're going to be scrunched up a little bit into the flowers. So lots of nice different colours. The other thing that works is baking paper. If you get squares of baking paper and you colour in both sides with felt tips like I have here. Be sure to do it on a piece of white paper so you don't mark what's underneath. 
Okay, and then it's time to build your flowers. So you just take different materials and put them all haphazardly on top of each other. So they don't have to be exact. And in fact, they shouldn't be because then it makes the petals look prettier. So lay them, I would say three or four layers. And then you press down with your finger in the middle and you squeeze around your finger to make it into a flower. You might need an adult to help with that. So there you can see it, first beautiful flower. So then you just get different colours. Choose whichever colours you think would look beautiful together and do the same. Finger in the middle, squish down, and there we have another flower. So you can continue like this, and it's nice to put plain white ones in as well. Okay? Every flower is unique in God's creation, and so yours can be too. So there they go. And once you've made them, you can then maybe go and find a twig from outside to stick them on so you've got your very own blossom branch like i've done here so just a plain twig oh that one's fallen off just use a little bit of sticky tape to stick them on or if you'd like to make your own vase of flowers to maybe give somebody color some paper green then if you roll it up With a piece of sticky tape, just stick it down so it stays in a stem shape. And then you can stick your flower in the top. Just use some sticky tape to make sure it stays. And there it goes in the vase. The other thing you might like to do with them to remind you what we were learning today is to make a poster. So as you can see, I've written, there will be no tears in heaven made a nice poster and stuck that on with sticky tape again. They may stick with glue depending on what material you're using as well. So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you make some beautiful flowers. Well, thanks Claire. I'm really looking forward to making my flowers later and trying it out. Um, but next, Peter, one of our cosmic leaders, is going to pray for us. Hi everyone, I'm Peter. I'm one of the cosmic leaders. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm just going to lead us in a short prayer. Heavenly Father, in these difficult times we're experiencing now, we're so thankful that a new time is coming. A time in which there will be no more tears, no more sadness, no more painful memories. A new time that's full of joy and happiness, where the sound of weeping and crying will be heard no more. Thank you, Father, that when we're struggling with homeschooling, finding work difficult, having problems with our devices, or disagreements with family members, you're always there to guide us, to give us hope, and to help us cope with our worries. Thank you that when we're suffering with illness, or sad because people we know are ill, you lovingly wrap your arms around us and encourage us to fix our eyes on this new time of peace and joy that's to come. Sorry for the times we become so wrapped up in our own day-to-day -day lives, we forget to involve you, to talk to you, to listen to you, to say thank you for the amazing things you've done for us and for the things you will do. Please help us to always remember that a time's coming when we will all be happy forever because of you. Amen. Thanks, Peter. Well, before we finish, I've got a picture to show you. It was sent in last week, and this is from Daniel and Nathan and Joey, and it's their lions helping them to remember that there is no danger in heaven. Well, email me your pictures of the flowers you make. If you do any this afternoon, send it to tom.i at cockfosters.church. I will show them next week. Have a nice afternoon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.